Welcome back guys, so the PvP build for the new patch, update 41, I'm on my stamina saucer with front bar, what else, the tarnished nightmare proc set, has no proc delay, deals around 1.5 to almost 3k, can't even crit, the damage is not that broken to be honest, it's similar to way of fire overall, but the proc delay is super broken, it's unavoidable damage, the special saucer can do nice burst combinations. On the back bar, rallying cry, for the extra crit resistance and weapon and spell damage, the 1.6k crit resistance is a lot by the way, it's around 24% crit damage mitigation, so it gives us the extra tankiness we need. A smithic death ears feed for the extra magicka stamina and the HP, one twin years filler for the extra HP and blood spawn as monster said, definitely needed for the extra tankiness. 3.6k armor is around 5% damage mitigation plus the 13 ultimate and the extra stamina recovery. Armor types too heavy for medium and one light armor. Make sure to use the Session Knight. Heavy chest. Reinforce would be better here, but I already had Impen and I'm out of stones. Full prismatic glyphs, of course. What else? We need the extra magic and stamina, especially on a sorcerer. We have a ton of magic abilities to sustain, even on the stamina sorcerer. 3 Impen, 1 sturdy, and 3 well fitted. Then one bloodthirsty to infuse, go with full infuse if you want for the extra healing, one magicka recovery and two weapon spell damage glyphs. The recovery here is really important, I had some magicka sustain issues, one recovery glyph was enough. Then on the front bar, something unusual on a stamina saucer with a lightning staff, keep in mind they changed the destruction stuffs I think 2 patches ago, lightning staffs now give 12% extra damage on direct damage abilities, basically everything gets empowered on a sorcerer. For a stamina sorcerer, kinda unusual playstyle with a lightning staff and a frost staff on the back bar. If you prefer a melee playstyle, go with dual tier to maces or just a twitch more, but I like this kinda range stem sword playstyle more in this case. Lightning staff in sharpen of course with the flame damage enchant and back bar nice stuff in defending. By the way, make sure to put out the points of Trifocus, otherwise we will block with Magicka with nice stuff equipped, which they want to block with stamina. Quick look on the skills, front bar, bound armaments for the extra 8% max stamina slotted, deeds an insane amount of damage with 4 stacks, and you can build up nice burst combinations. Then Hunting Curse, of course, for the extra burst damage, Crushing Weapon as spare needed, we need the extra 6k penetration with Major Breach, I don't have space for Elisas, then Streak, SCC and Mobility, Karma Hunter slotted for the 12% crit rate with Major Prophecy, Offensive Ultimate, Energy Overload, the other morph, the Sustain morph, not Power Load in this case, this morph gives 1.2k magic and stamina for each light attack, that's huge, never used before and I'm a big fan of it. If you prefer slightly more damage, use Power Overload, but then you will lose the magic and stamina sustain. Back bar crit search for the major brutality and sorcery buff, 20% extra weapon and spell damage. Also heats like crazy, really underestimated the heal. Cost 4k magicka though, so if you have magicka sustain issues, I would recommend venom arrow with a bow on the back bar. Gives also major brutality buff and even an extra dot, but then you will lose healing of course. Race against time is stem wobble and for minor force and major expedition, bigger self heal, hurricane the armor buff. A dark deal for sustain gives also minor berserk and minor force as extra buffs. 5% more damage and 10% more crit damage to push the minor force uptime even higher. Which is important in this build since Rending Cry and Tarnish give a ton of crit rate. We are at around 43% spell crit on this build. As defense ultimate, the vamp ultimate, perfect sign, gives us the tankiness we need. I simply use it as a shit button if I'm really under pressure. A better choice would be probably temporal guard with minor protection but I don't have it leveled here and it's super annoying to always spend hours and hours farming those rifts. Race my main race like on almost every pvp build Dunmore. It's the hybrid race you can basically use Dunmore on every single pvp class and even pve gives weapon spell damage, max stamina magicka and the flame resistance really helpful as a vampire. To overcome the nasty the 13% more flame damage taken. Talking about vampire of course vamp stage 3 for the extra tankiness, still pretty squishy even as a vampire, for the undeath passive by the way, reduce the damage taken up to 30% based on your missing health, smoke bear and just buff food, best and snot, needed for the extra magicka and stamina recovery, the serpent Mundestone for 310 stamina recovery, attribute points 40 points in health, the rest in stamina, HP wise around 30k HP without deathless feed stacks, with max stacks around 32k HP, with a ton of stamina and magicka. Let me check recovery by the way in the front bar, over 2k stun recovery and 1.5k magicka recovery, more than enough in the back bar, a little bit less, potions, the tricep potions and CPs that aim 
Master at Arms, Ironclad and those rebuff, Sustained by Suffering, Slippery, Pain Refuge and Celebrity. Combination, pre-buff yourself always with Critical Search, Race Against Time, Hurricane, Resistance Buff and even Dark Deal. Dark Deal gives minor prophecy, thanks to this passive here, 6% extra spec crit, activate overload, curse, crushing weapon twice, into streak, into bound armaments. That's it with another PvP build, thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.